because you are the one that is ignorant. You have no idea what your nation. What's your nationality? Who, who are you? What's your nationality? American. You're American. Yeah. What? Who? Who? Where does the name America come from? It comes from Amerigo Vespucci. And who else? And who else? That's the only one it comes from. Well, where, where does Africa come from? Right. Huh? It was a Latin province in Northern Africa. Where does that name come from? Who, who is the man who named Africa? No, Leo Scipio Africanus. That was the that was the guy who named it. He had conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic War, and that's where that name Africa came from. Leo Scipio Africanus. That's where the name came from. So you call yourself America. You call your, you name yourself after the white man, and you showing yourself that you are after the white man because you you are of your father the devil. This week too, and after all that we've been through, I know our actions offend you. And I know we should be dead, but Lord, we want to say thanks. Us from our sins, and now we are rising. Our people are It's part of the prophecy that this was going to happen. Come on. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Because they were able to feed those children. That's why I was saying that. Come on. For there shall be great distress in the land. Right. And wrath upon this people. Because it was a siege. It was war. Come on. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. So they were led away captive into all nations. They were led as slaves into all nations, those Jews. Come on. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down to the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. That's letting us know that the people that's in Jerusalem are Gentiles. It said, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now I want to show you this book right here. What this book is called, ba I say, here we go, watch, just roll with me. This is right here. It's just called Babylon and Timbuktu. This was written by Rudolf R. Windsor. So now watch this. This is going to go further back into that history that the Bible did not clarify and specifically explain. So read this highlighted part right here. This is page 84, Babylon and Timbuktu. The same thing we just read in Luke about the siege of Jerusalem is going to go in deeper about it. Read. In the year 65 BC, uh -huh. the, Roman, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. Uh -huh. In 70 AD, General Vespucian and his son, Titus, Put an end to the Jewish state. That's historic. That's historical event right. that happened. In 70 AD, right. they destroyed Jerusalem. Come on. With great slaughter. Great slaughter happened. During the period of the military governors. That's what Christ was warning them about. He said, don't go to Jerusalem. Flee that place. Come on. That's what we just read in Luke. Come on. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many, out many outrages and atrocities uh -huh. were committed against the residue of the people. Right. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. So they fled into Africa. That's why it said flee to the mountains. That was estimated one million Jews fled into Africa. So it wasn't just Egypt. They went deeper into Africa. It wasn't white people that just went into Africa. Why? Right. I'm going to make it explain. Because listen, if Christ was a white man, how is he going to hide from Romans in Africa and Egypt? How are you going to blend a white man in the midst of black people? That's you can't right. do that. You see what I'm saying? But watch this. Listen good. Pay attention. I know that. That's what I'm saying. We're getting it. Watch it. Listen. It was Come estimated. On. It has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. Right. Fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. Fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. So they fled from the Roman persecution. Come on. The slave markets were full of black Jews, Jewish slaves. The slave markets were full of what? Black Jewish slaves. Mom again. That's Mom again. who was Mom the Jews. Again. That's the Jews. That's who they are. Damn. That's who, that's who fled from uh, Jerusalem to Africa. It don't make sense. That's who fled from there. North Africans are white. That's who? So, uh, North Africa Africans are white. Where you get that from? Stop it. The land get of Africa help. is black. <laughs> The whole entire continent was a black continent. Nah, it is not. But who? It's very diverse. Okay. It well, was it always like that? Let me ask you that. Was it always like that? Was it always like that? It's always been like that. It's always been like that? Watch this. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. So you're saying who? Where did white people originate from? 
Bring it up. Europeans. Where did they come from? I mean, if you want to go back, back. I mean, yeah, where did, where did they come from? But where did they come from? Who? What do you mean, where did they come where's from? their origin? Where did white people come from? Can you, can you make, can a white person lay down and produce a black person? Or can black people produce white skin? Let me ask you that. Let me ask you that. Okay, watch this. Genesis 2 and 7, then give me Genesis 25. Watch this. Genesis 2, read this. Look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Call, Lord that skin is a, rege a recessive gene. It, it is. It's a, only, yeah, it's only, only melanin skin can create that gene. But watch this. I'm going to show you this. Come on. And the Lord God, for a man of the dust. Genesis means beginning. This is the beginning of all nations of the Bible. Yeah, all that's, nations that's of the planet the Earth. Based on the Read Torah. this. That's Come on. And the Lord Torah. God, for man. What does Torah mean? Huh? What does the Torah, the Torah mean? Choose. What does it mean? That's, that's the God. first five books of Moses. Yeah. Genesis to... Deuteronomy. That's what Torah means. Come on. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So the first man in the Bible, Adam, he came from the dust of the ground, the soil of the ground, meaning he was black, different shades of brown. That's all that <laughs> means. So Adam was the first man. He was black. Now give me Genesis 25. Watch this. I'm going to show you how, where, where the Caucasian race comes from. The Caucasian race does not come from Europe. The, all, the first people on the earth were dark skin, so you can understand. Right. The first people on the earth, so that's why I'm saying, how are you saying that North Africans was black? The whole continent, the whole planet earth was black people in the beginning of the earth. Right. Come on, watch this. This is where now. white people came from. But now we're, we're, not, we're talking about from ancient time to now. What we're letting you know uh, is that, what we're letting you know is that the Jews were brought over here into the Americas on slave ships. Nah, you can't Africa was Africa, Africa was colonized and conquered by the by the Europeans. That's right. the reason why South Africans you got white people over there. Right. That's why in North Africa you got white people there. Well, it, the, people Egypt was though. conquered by the uh, Asia the Arabs. That's why you got Arabs in Egypt. That, it's not the same people that were on that earth in antiquity. So what are you talking about, man? Yeah, Watch this, you, you Genesis know, 25. Evolution. People Look at evolve. Genesis chapter 25. It's not evolution. What are you talking about evolution? You talk. You tell me that. The, uh, some people over there in Africa just magically turn white over time? No, no, Is that no. what you're saying? They what are you talking about Europe. evolution? All right. What we're, are you talking about? We're going to take you way back. Go ahead. The first human <laughs> right now you're not making sense, though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, you know why not making sense? Because you're saying... You said, okay, so you said, you, what you're saying is North Africa became uh, light, lighter skin because of evolution? Is that what you're saying? The what? You said, you mentioned evolution. What was your point in evolution? I'm saying... As people migrate from different environments. Okay, but that has nothing to do with evolution. It has nothing to do with it. Migration is the word, people. not evolution. No, it is. It's both. As people migrate, Read that. they evolve. Read that. Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. Make sense. And the Lord said unto her, Watch this. Two nations are in thy womb. So the, it started, two nations are in thy womb. Come on. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two manners of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Come on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Uh -huh. And the elder shall serve the younger. So that's two nations that are being created right here. This is the birth of two nations. Come on. Pay attention. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins in Rebecca's womb. Come on. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. That word Esau, it means wasted away is he. Because everybody else that came out of people's wombs at that time looked like that. They were all dark, different shades of brown. This womb. was the first, ever, the first incident where this happened. And they were like, we got to name him, so we got to give him a name. This is an event. Read it again. This is a special event in history. Come on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled... Behold, there were twins in her womb, uh -huh. and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. Uh -huh. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. Read on. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob. So they didn't mention anything about his, Jacob's color because he looked like everybody else before him and before them and, and, ancest and ancestry all the way back to Adam. This was the first evidence where this happened. That's why they said, we got to record this and we got to give it a name. This we call it Esau. Wasted away is he. That's what the name means in translation. Well, that's where that came from. That so that's where that name, huh? You're making an assumption that everybody came from Adam. 
Yeah. Read it. Go back. Zero cents. Go that. Go to Genesis one. Watch this. We're gonna show you. Man, you Genesis one. My brother, you failed to explain to me how black people are Jews. How who are the Jews? People in Israel. We said the people in Israel now. Huh? What you talking about? The people in Israel now or who? Yeah. They're not the Jews. The people in Israel are not the Jews right now. Watch this. Give me, uh, give me Revelation chapter two verse nine. How could those people? How could those? How could they be the Jews? Explain that. Because they Israel historically. But how did they get there? What do you mean? How did they get there? How did they get there? How did they get there? Explain that. Pay attention. Look, how did they get there historically? Do you know that? All right. Am I breaking down to you? How did they get there? Answer, answer that. I'm huh? take you back to when you explained about the Ottoman Revolution. Empire that has nothing to do with yeah, that. No, they got. I'm okay. Now I'm explaining because you don't know. No, let me Just say you don't know. If you don't know, know. 1948. No, what happened no, no, in 1948? Huh? Different. What happened then? So who are the people you talking about? Are you talking about those people in Israel now? I'm talking even before. Who are you talking about right now? Who? What people do you want to know? Who are the Jews? What you got to ask your question right? Let me explain. Okay. So what is your question? What is your question? Do you want to know who the people of the land are now? Or who the people are supposed to be in the land? Well, What's your question? You. Don't explain it. Just ask your question again so we can understand no, 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 no. it. No, no, no. What's your question? Read it again. What's your question? Just explain it. You, what's your question? Just explain your question so we can get to the point. Genesis to uh, Revelation. What's the, what was your question? You said, well, who are the Jews, right? No, I said black people. I know the Jews. The okay, Jews so that's, 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 that's false. Watch no, this. Read that. Read that. Watch this. Two, verse nine. Watch this. This is the Bible. Listen. I know that word. In tribulation and poverty. So it said the Jews have works, tribulations, poverty. The Jews that those Jewish people, those Israelis, they have a, their own military. Right. They have their own government. Just like they have their in own. The world. Do do black people in America have their own military government? Yes, and they do. What, what, government. what military is it? Yes, who Tommy, who yes, runs Tommy. that government? Is that black people that run that government? That's the American, it's that's the American the nation first. that runs this government. No, it's you it's you don't realize who you are. Like, what the heck is wrong with this guy? Come on, read that again. This is this is the this is what we gotta do. No, 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 you see, this is this is our people in the delusion of inclusion. No, you you fail to realize that you are, your ancestors are brought over here on slave ships. Yes, no. You are called three fifths of man in yes. the in the Declaration Correct. of Independence in the Correct. Constitution. Correct. You do not have your own rights. You do not have you don't even have the right to vote. You have got no damn right. You like you you're talking about what you're saying is don't is irrelevant. That's what you that's what you fail to understand. You completely irrelevant and you're trying to save the oppressor. That's what you're trying to do right now. Read that again. I know my works in tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. He said, I know your works, tribulation and poverty. So the Jews are in tribulation, the Jews are in poverty, but then it says, Thou art rich. Come on. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. But God said he know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. So those people over there in the land right now, they have committed blasphemy against God. That's what you fail to understand. Read. And they're not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So those people, those Israelis that are warring against the Palestinians, that are bombing the Gaza, committing genocide, those are not the people of God. So you can understand. No, the people of God would not bomb uh, civilians and kill children. The people of God would not be bombing civilians, killing children for no reason, and then blaming it on Hamas. That's not that's not what the people of God would be doing. We would not have to war for our land. God would be fighting for us. The, pe the people would not even... The nations would know who belongs in that land. Right now, that's not who belongs in that land. That's what you fail to understand. Give me that uh, in Zechariah chapter... What is that? 6 and 9, I think. Zechariah 2 and 9. About a bastard shall dwell. There is no appropriation. The appropriation of Jewish history was done in 1948 during the Balfour Declaration. That's when the culture was appropriated. That's when the culture was appropriated. No, the Balfour Declaration. Pull up your phone. You got a smartphone on you? Pull up your smartphone right now. So you don't know. Pull it up. Pull it up. Question it. Give me that about. Give me uh, First Thessalonians 5:21. Prove all things. Get your phone out and, okay, I'm going to get my phone out and I'm going to show you about for a declaration. Since you think it's 1920? Watch. We're going to show you right now. Read that first. Uh, 521. Let's read that. First Thessalonians 521. First Thessalonians. Since you don't want to, you're the one that's saying it's the wrong date. I know I am right. You're not right. You're not right. Somebody pull that up real quick. Pull up the about for declarations. Watch this. Get this right quick first. Prove 
prove all things. The Bible says to prove all things. You fail to prove anything. You just mention a date and throw in dates out. That's how you know you're not, you don't even have an idea what you're talking about. He's pulling it up right now. What did it say? On November 29th, 1947. There you go. You off. 1920? That's you. You off, man. Read it again. In Read November 29th, 1947. The partition plan was yeah. passed by the UN General Assembly. Right. That's got nothing to do with both. Read. That's where Israel was At midnight on May 14th, 1948. 1948. The Provisional Government of Israel proclaimed a new state of Israel. So what you're that's talking about that's is that's off. You talking about 1920. No, you're a liar. That's what we're showing you right now. No, you're a liar. Give me First John 3 and 4 because you're a liar. You don't know what you're talking about and you keep on running your mouth like you know what you're talking about. You want you to do pull out. Pull out your phone and show me 1920, 19, about for a declaration right now. Because you're a liar. Read that. Read it. First John 2 and 4. First John chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith I know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar. So you're a liar. You don't know nothing. You don't know the Balfour Declaration. You don't know who the Jews are. You don't even know who your own nationality. You are ignorant. Read that again. He that saith I know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar. Read it out loud. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is that you have no truth in you. You don't know who the Jews are. You don't know your nationality. You don't know your heritage. You don't know anything. That's how, that's how the state of Israel was created. The, the world, no, hey, no. put your, put him on camera, put him on, because look at this fool. We need the world to see who this guy is. Look at it, look at this guy right here. Look at him. Shame this man. Shame, 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 shame. Shame, You don't know what you, he said 1920 is the Balfour Declaration. We just showed you 1948. You don't know what you're talking about. Shame this man is shame. Shame, 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 shame. Read that again. Come on. He that saith I know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar. Give me that scripture about if any man be ignorant, Israel let him be ignorant. Because you are the one that is ignorant. You have no idea what's your national what's your nationality? Who, who are you? What's your nationality? I'm American. You're American? Yeah. What who who where does the name America come from? It comes from Amerigo Vespucci. And who else? And who else? That's the only one it comes from. Well, where where does Africa come from? Latin. Huh? It was a Latin province in Northern Africa. Where does that name come from? From Latin. Who who is the man who named Africa? Emperor Pibarius. No. Leo Scipio Africanus. No, that was the no, that was the no, guy who named it. He had name, conquered no. Hannibal in the Leo, Second Punic no, War, and that's wrong, where that name man. Africa you're, came you're from. Wrong. Leo Scipio Africanus. That's where the name no, came the name from. So you call that. yourself America. You call your, you name yourself after the white man, and you showing yourself that you are after the white man because you the, you are of your father the devil. You, showing no, you are the one who is embarrassment. You are an embarrassment to black people. You you say you are American. You, how are you American? How are you American? Well, you were brought over here on slaves. This is not even your country. Is this where you, is this your, your natural born heritage? No. Your heritage is, this, is your, yeah, your slavery? Right. That's yeah. where you come from. You, you have no heritage. What? Come on. You, have no, you, you are the product of your oppression. That's what, that's what we see right here. You're the product of your oppression and you are ignorant. You are the product of it. Come on. And that's we, this is, this is, these are the people who Harriet Tubman could not save. Harriet Tubman was not right. able to save people like you. That's Why? Right. Because you don't even realize that you are a slave. You don't even realize that you are a slave. You don't even realize that you were enslaved, that you are oppressed, now, that your people went through it. Free, Come on, read that. If, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. The Bible says if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So we gonna let you be ignorant because you are an ignorant man. You gonna stay ignorant. You have no idea who you are. You don't know your heritage. You don't know your history. You don't even know that I took 1948. You talking about 1920. You know what happened in 1920? The no. roaring 20s no. happened in 1920. He's talking about 1920. Then God don't know what the hell he's talking about. You have no idea what your history is. Watch this. Educate yourself. So where, where did, who, who, did this to? who did this happen 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 to? Who was brought over here on slave ships? Black people. So what the hell are you talking about, you American? Get the hell out of here. Give me Deuteronomy 2848. Ignorant. Give me, that, give me Deuteronomy 2848. America was named after the white man. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. The Bible says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. 
You're going to serve your enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which God sent against us. God sent the Italian navigator Amerigo Vespucci to name the continent America. Come on. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And we're going to serve our enemies, it said, for in hunger in thirst and nakedness. That's right. why you don't have your own. You got to go to Compare Foods. You got to go to Walmart. You got to go get uh, Spring, Poland Spring and Aquafina and all these different companies. You don't have your own water companies. Come on. And in what of all things? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. It says he shall put a yoke of iron on our neck until he have destroyed us. That what we just saw, that was an evidence of our destruction. That was evidence that we have been destroyed. Right! Spiritually, mentally, and physically here in America. Bring it up. You don't even realize that you've been oppressed. You're just calling yourself American. I am, he said, I am a proud American. Meanwhile, the same people that the in America were the ones that destroyed you as a people. This is exactly why you can't be saved. This is exactly why two thirds of our people are slated to be killed here in this country. Right. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is